Good afternoon, welcome to Anderton's TV. It is Monday and today we're looking at a selection of five different acoustic guitar amps. Uh, they're all roughly between two and 400 pounds. Um, they're all dual channel, so you can use them uh, for kind of traditional solo singer songwriter type gigs. They've got a mic input and a guitar input. They've all got some way of uh, connecting another source for backing tracks, whether that's kind of line in or on Bluetooth. Uh, they've all got a bit of reverb. Some have got chorus, but I won't be using that. And um, what I've done is dialed in a sound that I like on each of them. And um, I'm gonna play through uh, all of the amps in turn. You'll be hearing some of the stuff through these ears, which are right behind my head there. And some of it's gonna be going through a DI. I won't go into too much of the specs about all of them, but while I'm playing, uh, those things are going to come up on the screen. So see what you uh, see what you like. So for all these tests, I'm going to be using uh, this 15 series Grand Performer Martin, uh, which is currently available on an epic deal. Check the uh, check the description, and uh, there'll be a link in there. So without further ado, I'm going to play through the Fender Acoustasonic 40.
So there we go. Uh, you heard them all. I have not even heard the DI signal yet because that was going off to Pete in the control room. Uh, so my first impressions, the Fender, it's not bad. I mean, it's the cheapest of all of them and it struggles a little bit on the low end, I would say, but it's it's perfectly all right, you know, for a small restaurant gig or something, it'll be, you know, ample. Uh, in terms of the kind of filling a room, I think the Marshall, did a really good job. It's the biggest of all of them, kind of physically. The only thing I would say it was not my favorite thing about the Marshall was the reverb. It's a little um, rudimentary, shall we say. I, uh, I liked it, I've, been, I've kind of used one of those in the past because that model similar to that have been around for years. Uh, a little bit bassy maybe in the room, but you can always turn that down. Uh, it's got a notch filter, which is useful, and the Fender doesn't have, uh, so you can notch out any hot frequencies when, you, when you're playing. So the Fishman Loudbox Mini, um, I like this one. It's kind of uh, realistic, I would say, um, as much as an acoustic guitar pickup can be. Uh, the reverb's nice on it, and you can Bluetooth or plug in a backing track if that's your, that's your thing. Um, it fills a room nicely, which is good. So the Orange Acoustic Crush 30. Uh, there's a couple of things I'm not too keen on. It's the only one where you have to use an external power supply. The rest of them all just plug in on a standard IEC cable. Uh, the reverb doesn't come out of the DI channel on there. All the rest of them, the effects go out to the DI, but the Orange, it doesn't. It's also the lowest powered of these five. It's only 30 watts. <clears throat> it's um, It does the job, but those are, that's a couple of things that I'm not mad keen on about it. 
And last but not least, the Black Star Sonnet 60. Um, very nice. I'd say comparable to the Fishman in terms of the sound. Um, fills the room nicely. It's got quite a nice, uh, I like the reverb on it. It's got a high pass filter, which is quite useful, uh, and a phase switch. Um, yeah, it's good. It's the most expensive. Um, any of them would be good on a small gig. You know, if you're playing a restaurant or a pub and you just want to plug in your guitar and a microphone, you could do that with any of them. Um, and then it's up to your personal taste, really, I suppose, after that. Uh, but they all did the job. And uh, you could use them all on small gigs. So if it came down to it and I was using one on a gig, my choices would be between the Marshall and the Fishman. Because um, they're both... They both sound good, they're both loud. The Marshall is built very, very well. I think the Fisherman's built very well as well, but the Marshall cabinet has got that kind of traditional Marshall ruggedness. Um, although the reverb's a lot nicer on the Fisherman, so it'll be, a, it'll be a tough call, but I'd happily use either of them on a gig. So I've been Ben, thank you for watching Acoustic Paradiso on Anderson's TV. Uh, all the links, all the information is gonna be in the uh, description below, and uh, we'll see you next time.